Hi guys, this is Duncan from DigitalDojos.com. The word on the wire is, is that you can install Flash on the iPhone. It's also known as Fresh and it's available for jailbroken iPhones. Apple would never let you do this, but it would allow you to play Flash content in Safari. Now, I've got a fresh uh, jailbroken iPhone here with SB settings installed. So make sure you go into uh, Cydia and search for SB settings. Once you've done that, go back into Cydia. Now, the instructions posted online require you to SSH your phone and transfer some stuff across, but this way is much easier. Just make sure you have the SB settings. I tried this without doing that, and it just came up with a dependency error. So go ahead and go to Manage, go to Sources, Edit, and Add, and we're just going to add a repository here. It's repo .benm .at. and then press Add Source. It will then update this. So again, you'll need that SB settings. You can get that without adding anything here. And it's useful for iPhones anyway to turn things off and on. This is a much easier method than actually activating SSH and grabbing a client and then transferring stuff across as it's already done. So the repo is now added there. Head to search and basically search for Fresh. As you can see, it's there. So if you do get that dependency error, you'll need to install that. You may need to install something else, um, or try and install something else for this to work, but I'm going to go ahead and install this now. As I said, it's a stock jailbroken iPhone with SB settings installed. So it's now downloading it. I think it asked for something like ARM v7 something, uh, with the error I got. And uh, apparently it may not work on older iPod Touches and 3Gs, but you're welcome to try. Might be a little bit slow anyway. So what this will actually do is put a box with flash in the middle on flash content on a site. There we go. Just allow it to do its thing. Cydia. Cydia is always a bit slow sometimes. So that's now installed. As you saw uh, before, if we go back to the search, you can actually have a toggle. So if you need to turn it off, then you can do that. But it's now installed. You won't see anything on your home screen. There's nothing there. You just simply need to go to Safari. So again, this is stock, so it's just going to show up my wallpaper that I've added on my phone. You're welcome to use that. And I'm just going to go to my carrier's website as an example. .co.uk And that has one small flash piece of content. I went on uh, Games website and it basically uh, crashed me back to the home screen. So I'm guessing if it can't run a piece of flash content, it will just crash you back. And I hear that this is in very early stages. But as you can see, we have flash here. Press it. And hopefully, as it's a basic flash thing, it's just like a slideshow. We now have flash content on the iPhone, which is awesome. This is what we've been wanting for a long time. Obviously, this is going to be a big battery drainer um, because Apple didn't want you putting this on your phone in the first place. But there you go, you have your Flash content, I'm guessing this will be good for Flash videos or anything like that. I'm not sure if it's interactive, I'll just press that, uh, it doesn't look to be, I think you can just, maybe you can, no, I think it's just um, sliding through there. Oh well, oops, just gone on Facebook now. <laughs> so anyway, if you um, can get it interactive, that's even better. Uh, so let me know how it goes. So simply, again, Cydia, as that repository, repo.benm.at. Uh, once you've installed SV settings and installed it through there, and that will save you SSHing into your phone. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to Digital Dojos for more great videos, and let us know what you think and any ideas for new videos on the channel. Thanks for watching.